Welcome to Femininity with Mama Gail. Today, let's talk about hard hygiene questions. I get a lot of questions from younger ladies. Um, they don't have anybody that they can really talk to or confide in when it comes to talking about hygiene or sex or things of that nature. A lot of your emails don't get answered because you ladies have to learn how to put in um, what you're talking about specifically. Some things you have to uh, speak more add more content, add more of what it is that you're saying so that I can understand. And I must also say that I am not a doctor. Only thing I can do is give you wisdom on things that I used and things that I learned along the way. I also grew up not really having anyone to tell me or talk to me about sex and hygiene and things of that nature. I learned from friends and I learned from experience and reading. So let's get to the point. Um, I got an email from one young lady and she said that she has a very foul odor between her legs. This foul odor, she says, is very strong. Now, with you having, and she asked me how to deal with it. A foul odor consists of an ammonia smell, a very strong fishy smell, or smells like something died up in you. That's foul. You need to go and see your OBGYN. Having a foul smell when you open your legs, when you're sitting or whatever, and you can smell the smell through your clothing, when you go to the bathroom to relieve yourself or whatever, having a, a, a strong foul smell means that there's something wrong. There's some type of infection in your body go see the OBGYN. Now you can have a pungent smell. A pungent smell is different from a foul smell. Having a pungent smell, it's a, your pH balance may be off. It's a smell that, you know, um, it's a little stronger. You, it's not fishy. It's not funky. It's not, um, does it smell like pneumonia, ammonia, excuse me, ammonia, or it doesn't smell like something, a carcass is inside of you or anything of that nature. It's just a strong, pungent hint of a smell. When you have a yeast infection, you'll have a pungent smell. When your pH balance is off, you'll have a pungent smell. Or just because your body, you sweat a lot, sometimes you'll get a pungent smell. If it's something that you can't wash away or something that you can't um, buy over-the-counter drugs for to relieve uh, for a yeast infection or if it's something that you can't fix with pH balance, you have to go see your OBGYN. I would suggest that you do that from the door anyway. The next question was, back in the day, her mother used um, told her that she used to use douches can she douche back in the day i grew up no um learning that after you menstruate you would use a douche to clean your insides out now that we have technology and social media and things of that nature we're more informed and this type of technology you know we are told reasons why it's not okay to put anything inside your vagina we didn't know better back then i grew up in the you know, 80s and 90s. So we cleansed ourselves after we menstruated through using a douche with vinegar in it and think vinegar and water. Nowadays, it's frowned upon. Don't do that. Don't use it because of the effects of um, you. If you have an infection or you may be pushing it further up in you by squeezing and using, you know, the douche to um, take germs and different things up further into your body. Ask your OBGYN, maybe she can explain to you a little more what, you know, um, the reasons why it's not okay to douche or put anything inside your vagina. The next young lady says that her boyfriend doesn't like the way her vagina smells. How can she sweeten it up? You can sweeten your vagina by eating more fruit flushing out with more water a lot of young ladies don't drink water you don't like water you'll drink soda you'll drink fruited waters and things of that nature eat fruit 
pineapples, strawberries, berries, things of that nature. Eat foods that um, have natural sugar in it and they'll make down there taste and smell a little better. If you're not a fruit eater, you don't drink a lot of water, when you bathe, take some coconut oil and put it on the pubic area. After you've, you know, lotioned and showered down and everything, take the coconut oil and put it down in your pubic area and in the creases between your legs. Wash your hands, take some more coconut oil and moisturize you're behind wash your hands take some more coconut oil and go between from the back upwards and backwards not towards your vagina not touching your vagina but from that little space in between right before your anus and coconut oil it it'll make you smell a little better a lot better so when your man goes down there he's able to smell something that smells really good instead of, you know, you can use fruity lotions and Victoria's Secret and things of that nature, but never put anything inside of your vagina to make it smell better. Around the pubic area, between your thighs, between your legs, and, um, you know, from the back, from your buttocks, cross your anus, and have that area smelling good. And also, in between your navel you can also put coconut oil in your navel area you know and and other things that smell good so when he goes down there you'll have an aroma that's coming from upwards going downwards and even under your breasts you know um, like STD spray you can spray that fruity tropical scent you know under there that aroma is going down as you sweat as you become aroused you know that that flow of the aroma will go down towards that area he won't smell as much um, of your natural scent of your vagina as he does now these weren't really hard questions as to um, people who are informed about this information but a lot of you young ladies who don't know I'm honored that you asked me questions but I must say to you again I'm not a physician and I also must say to you that you know, it's good for you to always go to the doctor when you have questions. Ask your doctor questions. When you go to the doctor, you are paying that doctor, not just for that visit, not just to treat something that is or may be, but ask questions about your body, about different scents, about different smells, and don't just ask questions. Tell them what's going on with you. Tell them what you plan to use, why you want to use whatever, and let them give you an explanation of why that's not a good or why it is a good idea. If you can't talk to parents, you can't talk to women in your community, you can't talk to other people about sex and hygiene, when you go to your doctor, make the best and um, the best out of it. I'm not saying go in there and ask her about different positions and things of that nature, but I'm saying when you go in there, be informed and ask questions so that she can give you the proper answers, the proper do's and don'ts the proper should answer your why nots and your why twos if douching work for the people back in the, you know the 80s and 90s why doesn't it work now that was one of the questions that I got she needs to cleanse her vagina out why can't she do it now you can do whatever you want to do but you should talk to your OBGYN and ask her to explain to you what's the difference why how it harms your body and things of that nature before you do anything or insert anything inside of you young girls are very informed nowadays but there are still a lot of people who are religious and cultural and things of that nature who do not explain sex pregnancy hygiene anything of that nature to their young people not just because of you know cultural differences and you know things of that nature but also because they don't know themselves some people so don't ever think that any question is too hard or I shouldn't ask that question ask questions even if you have to go through medias like this to ask questions and get your questions answered 
This is Femininity with Mama Gail. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a blessed and prosperous day, Divas, Diamonds, Dolls, ladies and gentlemen.